Hello, today I have a Honda Harmony FG100. This is the GX31 four stroke rototiller, cultivator, mini tiller. And I wanted to get this started. It hasn't started, uh, hasn't been started in at least three or four years. Um, it has some issues, but uh, it did start and run pretty well. It just the, the issues have to do with the times and the transmission, so um, I'm not really concerned about that right now. I just want to get this started, and the primer bulb is cracked here, so I want to try to replace that. Um, you can see that it has four Phillips head screws. Maybe you can see that, and uh, they're pretty small, so I'm going to need a small screwdriver. So, getting back to the primer bulb, um, I don't have a screwdriver that is um, small enough and I'm going to have to take this gas tank off here and see how it sticks out and it's just really hard to get to those screws. So here's two lines that go to the carburetor to the gas tank and I'm not sure which one is which. Um, I just need to get them off of the tank. So it looks like it's going to be easier to just take this grommet off right here. I don't have a manual with me on this, so I'm just kind of guessing as I go along how to do this. Um, now I could take them off up here if they look like they're... I don't want to break these, basically. They, they've been on here for many years. So I'm going to try to take this grommet out, and uh, then I'm going to try to pull the tank off. Pull the tank off... Um, I'll show you that in just a second. First of all, let's try to get the grommet off. So to get the rubber grommet out of the tank, I've just got a flathead screwdriver. I don't want to tear it. Uh, I sprayed it with some lubricant here. And uh, I'm going to have to probably put the camera down for this, but I just worked my screwdriver in there. I'm going to push on the rubber and force it back. I may have to go a couple of places to do that, but uh, it's going to take some pressure. So uh, let me put the camera down just for a second. I'll try to get it off. I think you can kind of get the idea and kind of see what I'm working with here. All right, so I'm going to try to do this anyway here. I'm holding the camera. I don't know how successful it will be. Make sure there's no gas in the tank. Filter is going to come out. Okay. So as far as the gas tank here, it's being held on by. At the, well, at the top here, it's being held on by this metal bracket here. Um, and then the, the gas tank has a lip. You can see it right there. It's underneath the metal bracket here. This metal bracket is underneath this shroud or cover of the pull cord here. So there's four bolts that hold that down. Uh, if you remove those four bolts, it looks like if you remove the four bolts, at least these two bolts, you may not even, yeah, you'd have to remove these as well. Uh, then you would be able to pull this up and pull the metal bracket away from the tank here and you should be able to slide the tank back at that point. Now at the bottom of the tank there are also two lips right here 
the two slotted seats um, and I'm thinking that once the top is freed uh, you should be able to just lift the tank off back back and up and it should unseat from the bottom uh, what I want to try to do is just try to take a screwdriver a good sturdy screwdriver I don't want to break the tank and just pry it and with my other hand lift up on the tank and just because this is pretty flexible uh, let me show you without unscrewing anything here I'm just taking this screwdriver and you can see how far that's coming up I just need to guide it with my other hand on the other side over here and pull my other hand pull back as I'm pulling up with the screwdriver and uh, then I'm gonna once it's once that lip is out I'll pull the tank back and up okay so back with the camera again now you can see I've got a rubber grommet here as well and I want to try to keep that from breaking um, I've got it where it's I'm gonna try to do this with one hand now and just with my screwdriver because I've used the other hand to kind of get it this far there we go now that rubber piece fell back there so I'll have to get that uh, now at this point I should be able to just remove it like that and then just take it out of the side like that that's all there is to it pretty easy needs to be cleaned that's for sure uh, and then there's that grommet there I'll put back in place and clean all that gunk up there now with the gas tank out of the way it's easier to get in here with the screwdriver and I broke all these screws loosened them this one's kind of stubborn right here I did this off camera um, and I'll have to probably do the rest of this off camera, but uh, yeah, um, I'm even using a flathead screwdriver, as you see, because my Phillips is just too big that I have. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to take the plate off, get all of these screws out here, and uh, I'll get right back with you once I get to that point. Uh, I've got this one completely loosened and. Uh, I'm just going to take it all the way out so it's holding this piece right here on also the gasket right there so uh, it's probably about uh, three quarters of an inch I guess long so I'll go ahead and take the other three out as well and as you can see the plate will just come off I'll leave the plastic uh, in place there I'll try not to destroy the gasket so we're going to try to take the plate and the screw off but I don't think I'm going to be successful at doing that So we'll just push this through and go try to find the other uh, the other primer bulb that we have the new one clean that off a little bit there here's a look at the new primer bulb I'm just uh, sizing it up with the old one here oh, it looks good it's just gonna go in my plate like that I'll be putting it on like this this will be the bottom clean that off some gasoline and just line it up line the holes up again uh, just pretty much the same way or in reverse that I took this off just be lining 
uh, the holes up here and putting in these screws back in and I've got it positioned and I'll just get it started here at the bottom here Primer bulb is now in place, screws are tightened down. Now it's time for the gas tank. Uh, putting this grommet back in place here. Okay, gas tank. Uh, just gonna slide it the side and I have to remove get the line out of the way here. And we'll be putting in these slots down here first. Uh, if you can see that this too uh, those two are in now. So all I need to do is just raise the bracket up here, push the tank forward, and it should snap in place. All right, so we're in place. And so we just need to put the two lines, this grommet, back into the tank probably clean that off a little bit before I do that so what I'll do is just drop the filter through the hole uh, filter will be going and dropping down in the lowest point of the gas tank here right here going to take two hands here but uh, just going to have to put one hand on the back of the tank here and uh, just force this in place. Uh, I may go ahead and put some lubricant on the rubber here. Okay to get this on I just take a screwdriver and it's not on all the way as you can see but I need another hand to support it really back here but without tearing up anything uh, I'm just taking the screwdriver and just kind of wedging it into the tank there. So, uh, hasn't been that hard yet. So, let me use my other hand. I'll put the camera down just for a second. It's in place. So we'll make sure it's flush against the tank. And it was not that hard to do. Let's see if it. Uh, it will start first time in about three and a half years. I've checked the oil. Oil level is good. That should be enough just to get it started. You can see the oil filter in place there, maybe. OK, 
Okay, uh, I don't have the instructions. Can't remember exactly how to do this. Let's go ahead and prime it till we see uh, gas in the bulb here. Okay, there we go. Put this on. I think this is choke here all the way. Also, got the kill switch here. Put that in on position straight up. So smooth. Ah, that's unbelievable. These uh these Honda killer engines are really nice. Try to get it in the run position. I'll let it warm up a little bit maybe. So you got the switch here, the uh, trigger here, activating the cat. Of course in my case, the clutch is not working. Either the clutch is not working or the, uh, the transmission gearbox is messed up. The tines don't move. But uh, yeah, the motor is great. Oh, let's see. Let's try to start it again. Needs a little bit of adjustment. Yeah, anyway, uh, whenever I pull that trigger, this time should be moving, so uh, I'm going to have to uh, take it apart. Uh, transmission on these are, I think, like 150 bucks, so uh, it makes you kind of hesitant on whether you actually want to replace it or not. But I'll probably take it apart at some point and see uh, see what it looks like and see if I can just buy maybe a gear. So anyway, thank you uh, for watching the video. I guess that'll be it. Uh, it's definitely not running the right way it should, but uh, we're not far from that, I can tell. Um, anyway, thanks again, and uh, again, primer bulb, gas tank removal, Honda Harmony FG100, VH31. Thanks for watching.